Uh, how did you come to join the Clifton Hill Cricket Club? I was looking, I was new to the community, I was looking for a sporting club and I was walking my daughter down here one day and I met uh, the captain of the first, Stephen Cotter. He introduced me to, to the club. I probably joined the Clifton Hill Cricket Club when I was 10 years old actually, in the under 12s. I had a mate whose sons play in the juniors and said it was such a wonderful club so I came down last season. I was actually um, talking to some friends one night and sort of almost got fresh ganged into joining. Uh, but it's been fun, so can't complain about that. Um, my son actually joined the Clifton Hill Cricket Club and then I got roped into being a team manager. Came down to Melbourne for uni and uh, just looked up the website and yeah, it's a team for everyone so I came down. And what do you do? Bat, stole, field? Or uh -huh. stay in the clubhouse? I uh, just ball. Just ball, can't bat. Only ball. I really enjoy my fielding. I love bowling and occasionally I have a good bat. I'm, I'm working on all of them, I think. Yeah. All rounder. Okay. <laughs> uh, probably spectating. <laughs> I'm quite famous for not being able to field. So I'm going to say uh, bat a bit and bowl a bit. What's your best memory or moment at the club? First wicket. Probably our premiership there, Tangles, a couple of years ago. Um, that and uh, sitting back watching the fellas play out here um, on a Saturday afternoon, I think. Two years ago, batting with Paul Meager and beating uh, Burwood United in Canterbury Cricket Club in a semi final. Uh, what's your worst memory? Um, well, I guess straight on the back of that, we lost the grand final, so there you go. I probably getting bowled out for a duck. What do you like most about being part of the club? Um, members, actually, just everyone here. Uh, I was literally welcomed with open, open arms and everyone made me feel like a best friend straight from the start and it's just been fantastic. Uh, the community, fantastic community and um, the work we're doing to try and include girls in the community is really important and loving that. Great place to, to be with mates and um, you know, lots of good chat and lots of people who love cricket. And what's the biggest problem we've got here? I'd say it's uh, the fact that our home ground is across across Mary Creek, it's a fair way from here at the clubhouse and we have to move everything every week. The uh, two home grounds over there are like over a kilometre away from the clubhouse and getting all the gear over there, it's a real pain and we need to basically carpool it, get it there. It takes a lot of time and effort. The captains have got to find a car, fit all the gear in. Gazebos, chairs, uh, drinks, tea, all the playing equipment. You know, we're always rushing at the start of, um, start of each game. Unload it from the car, set it up, and then do the exact opposite at the end. And uh, when we're back here, uh, should be having a drink. We're still unloading cars an hour later. What we really need is a lock-up trailer. If we had a lock-up trailer, we could keep all the equipment in there and just take the whole thing over at the beginning of the games, pack everything away uh, at the end of the day. Who's the biggest character at the club? Biggest character, JB. I think Eddie Sharu is the biggest character at the club. Uh, just when he's playing his cricket, he's very passionate. Uh, he just gives it his all, whether he gets out for a duck or smashes 50 or 20 deliveries. There's plenty of characters around the club. There's uh, Empty, JB, uh, George is always good for a laugh, especially after he's taken a few wickets. Uh, I guess some of the younger blokes are, are up there, but really uh, I think the, the mainstay of the, of the years has been Kotsi and uh, he gets up to some semantics. Who puts in the most effort at the club? Oh, there are so many, but I'd say at the moment it's got to be our president Scott Lee. Just from dawn till dark, he works tirelessly for this club. I'd say the president. Sharon Linus works incredibly hard for the club. She manages all the junior teams and she's always here helping out. The committee, I think, do a, do a huge job. Um, and the captain kisses. Uh, I'd say uh, Scotty, uh, it's pretty crazy, he does a hell of a lot of work. What I've seen at the committee, they're always here. Um, I see someone like the dog, he's, he's putting in lo lots of effort behind the scenes. A lot of the captains driving, driving stuff that people don't see. What are you looking forward to the most in 2015-16? Um, playing with mates and, and hopefully playing some good cricket and winning. Not getting into the finals. Can you sum up Clifton Hill Cricket Club in one word? Community. Community. Um, awesome. Community. Fun. Not one word, but it's a great place to be. No, I can't read it, so. Uh. <laughs>